Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, and today we're reviewing the cold part. Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, and today we are reviewing the cold plunge. This is more recovery related. If you like this sort of stuff, you're into gym equipment, recovery tools, and you'd like to see honest, in-depth reviews on them from people that have tested all of the ones that are out there, you can subscribe. But this one specifically is the ice bath. And ice baths are kind of having their moment right now within pop culture. If you listen to any podcast, you'll just hear it everywhere. People are talking about ice baths. And there are many benefits. This is kind of the things that I found that are beneficial about ice baths in general. Okay, one of the biggest benefits for those that train a lot is increased recovery, improved immune function, better sleep, lower stress and cortisol, improved HRV, increased fat loss, higher metabolism, and more. I think one thing that it definitely does is it increases your mental fortitude because you get in this sucker, any ice bath, and they are cold. The difference between this one, the cold plunge, and pretty much every other ice bath that's out there is this one doesn't actually use ice. The cold plunge is very similar, I think, to a hot tub, but instead of making it hot, it makes it cold. And so as you can see, there's just water. And we actually have this set right now to a balmy <laughs> 43 degrees. I will get in this in a moment and show you just how cold it is. Before I get into my opinion, I'll kind of show you how it's built and what it's for. Very similar to a hot tub, it has a basic tub. The difference is this has a unique shape. It kind of looks like a bathtub. It's not so much for relaxing in, although they do make models that can do hot and cold. This one is designed specifically just for people that want to do ice baths. The nice thing about this design and this one specifically against maybe some competitors like Ice Barrel is this one is an insulated tub. The reason insulation matters is because this uses an actual cooling unit where some of the others are basically just tanks where you put in ice and then water and then you're able to use it. The reason that this one is different and nice is that you're not having to go get ice. This one is ready to go at any time. This is kind of a modern version of what we used to see some people DIY. So for a while we'd have people that would take deep freezes and they would DIY basically ice baths within them. The really nice thing was that you could just keep it cold all the time and it was somewhat cheap. The downside was it was a deep freeze and also you had the potential for electrocuting yourself. So probably not great to use all the time. That's where this comes in. It takes a lot of the convenience of those DIY options, but makes it in a very sleek, nice model. Okay, this video is brought to you by Future. <laughs> I've been using Future for literally over a year, 300 plus workouts and lots of weight lifted. I like it so much. We did a review on it. People were like, ah, Coop, that seems like an ad. It wasn't, but because people accused me of making money off it, I might as well just make some money off it. So that's why we're doing a future ad. But I don't just like it, I've gotten other people on it as well. Nathan, the guy behind the camera, also uses it. I've got my wife using it. Future is awesome. It's a training platform that uses an app that allows you to have a personal coach that is texting me. My guy's name is Morton and I really like him, shout out Morton. But if you'd like to start using Future for your training, they're offering a discount just for GGR followers at the link below the like button for $19 a month for your very first month. So if you'd like to join me on Future, then hit the link in the bio. This model specifically has two jets, one light and one intake within it. The reason those are nice is because there's a filtration system over here that is bringing the water in and out and recirculating it so it's cooling it down to the temperature that you want. This is the real benefit behind Plunge versus all the competitors like Ice Barrel, which by the way, Ice Barrel's design is pretty cool and I'll talk about how these two compare in a moment. But the reason that this one is so nice is the convenience. Here's the thing, if you're going to take ice baths on a regular basis, you are gonna have a very hard time doing it if you don't have an ice maker in your house. 
I really only see people doing them regularly using this method because the friction is gone. The real benefit behind this is that you can use it anytime. It's actually pretty simple. There's really not a whole lot to go wrong. And if you were looking for maintenance outside of using the company, anybody who maintains hot tubs or pools is gonna be able to help you. So it's a pretty basic design that should last for a long time. Here's what I like about the ice barrel in comparison to the plunge is I like the shape. If I'm gonna get in a cold tub, I like the shape of being able to sit in and just like crunch. It's more of an athletic position than laying down. I don't know, it just sounds kind of goofy, but I don't really want to be laying down. That's one thing I don't love about the plunge. You're laying in a relaxed position, but it's just not a very relaxing event. I prefer the shape of Ice Barrel. But other than that, pretty much everything about plunge is better other than the price. You're looking at a massive price difference between these. Here's what I like about plunge. One is no ice needed. Two is it can get pretty much as cold as you want, all the way down to 39 degrees, and it can stay there consistently however long you want. And then the third is just the design. Like, I think it's a good design. Like, it's just a nice acrylic tub. It's basic, it can fit anywhere. The things that aren't good about it, I think are obvious. It's pricey. This is right under $5,000. If you're gonna use this daily or weekly, it's something that can be a consistent practice to benefit your body, I think it can be worth spending that much. I wish they would have it in different colors. It'd just be nice if it's on your back lawn. You know, maybe people don't want a white tub because it just looks like a bathtub outside your back door. It may look kind of goofy. I don't think this is a, like, a necessary purchase. This is definitely more of a luxury if you're going to use it consistently. So, this is the cold plunge. There's some of my thoughts. We did have Jason Kalipa, former CrossFit Games champion, come and give his opinion because he's been using it both with himself and his kids to talk about it. So we'll give it to Jason to kind of give his opinion on it. Jason Kalipa here, founder of NC Fit and CrossFit Games champion. I want to talk to you about the plunge. So when it comes to cold water, you know, anything under 60 degrees, they say has a nice impact on your body. So what I did to start off with and the advice I was given is to create a good relationship with the cold. So I started off at 58 degrees something that was relatively manageable. And the idea was that when you get in the water, you should basically choose to get out and not feel like you're forced to get out because you can't handle it anymore. Once I get in for the first minute, I'll keep my arms out. After the first minute, I'll then drop my shoulders and all the way down into my neck. The goal has been every single week for me to decrease the temperature of the water from 58 to 57 to 56 and so on and so on. But I can't speak highly enough about the benefits that I've received from the mental resilience of telling yourself to go do something difficult and be able to break through it, from the anti-inflammatory components to the mood changes. I've seen it within my children, I've seen it in myself. When you get out, you just feel like you're building that confidence up, you feel like a whole different person and you really go out there and go rock the rest of your day. The things that I like about it, you could regulate the temperature really easily. It's easy to put together. It keeps the water super clean because there's an entire filtration system built in. Some things that, you know, our challenges is that you have to change out the water about once a month and make sure you change out the filters. Aside from that, I can't think of any negative. Something else I'd think about about the plunge is I actually got the hot cold version. I probably wouldn't have gotten that. I probably should have just gotten the cold version because the hot cold version sounded cool in theory, but I haven't actually converted it from cold to a more of a hot tub. So if I could do it over again, I would have gotten the XL version and I would have gotten just the cold version because I don't think it was worth spending the extra money to get the hot cold because I'm never really going to use it as a hot tub. It's primarily just a cold plunge. I use it every single day. Use this bad boy. You should set your temp over on the unit. It has very basic functions. Set, boost, which basically uses more power to increase the speed that it gets down to the temp that you want it to. You can set it for either that happening for two hours or 24-7. You then have an adjustment knob up and down to adjust the temperature. Right now we're set at 42 and it's holding at 44 because I have the top off. It lets off a little bit and then you have a power button. It's pretty simple. Get on the sides. And then I'll kind of just dump a little bit on this and go. All right, you ready? Now, Andrew Huberman talks a lot about guys that get in that like to be really tough and just stay in one spot. It actually makes it worse by moving around. So basically you're circulating all that cold. It is freezing. You can get in for three to 10 minutes, maybe more. And then what I like to do before I end is just dunk my head. There we have it. That's cold. 
Andrew Huberman talks about not drying yourself off, but allowing your just the air to cool you, which just makes it even worse. So just kind of be in there, just drying off until your body comes up to temp. And then you can go ahead and dry yourself off. So similar to the way we talk about home gyms, going out and spending like 20 grand on a home gym probably isn't a great idea for most people at the start. They should probably wet their toes a little bit. <laughs> this is probably similar. You probably, if you've never taken an ice bath, probably shouldn't go out and spend $5,000 on an ice tub. After you get in an ice tub, you feel on top of the world. Like you feel so good, but getting into it, it's very hard. And for a lot of people, it can be very mentally challenging. From what I've seen, a lot of people will use it three to five times a week. You know, it can be an everyday practice. Kind of way I train is typically during the week. On the weekend, it'll be like extra workouts, but I typically train heavy Monday through Friday. And I think doing ice baths alongside of those can be helpful. There is some research that doing ice baths within three three to four hours after you strength train is a negative thing, something to be aware of. That said, one way that I could see these being used and one way that I'm planning on using this at my house is by also putting in a sauna and doing contrast baths. One thing that makes getting in a cold tub easy is getting out of something very hot and one way that I plan to use it in the future.